Hey, this is a little tutorial to show you how to install the Zen Debugger for Eclipse so that you can debug your PHP applications. And I'm going to show you just kind of what you get by doing this. Uh, I just have WordPress installed um, and uh, I have the debugger all configured, which is what I'm going to show you how to do. And when you do that, if you go to the index, you can say debug as PHP web page. And what you get is, you notice that I'm actually in a debugger, and I can um, step through the actual WordPress code. So we can uh, actually debug. We can look at uh, variables. And then if I let this run all the way through, uh, it gives you a little browser here that you um, can see the output of it. And then when I click uh, on a new page, it instantly uh, this, this is set up to just immediately go into debug mode. I'm going to uh, go ahead and close this down because to get started we need to do um, three different things. Okay, so to start with we need to download uh, the Zend um, debugger and I'm doing this on Mac OS. So on OS X I'm on Lion um, and I believe starting with Snow Leopard uh, Apache is 64-bit, so you need the 64-bit version if that's what you're um, running. Download the archive file, which I've done already, and it is here, Zend Debugger. And after you extract this, uh, what you get is a folder uh, that corresponds to um, all the different versions of PHP. And I'm on Lion again, so that has 5.3.6, uh, so you need to know the version of PHP that you've got. And essentially all you get out of that is a zenddebugger.so, which is an Apache extension. And now you want to copy that someplace. Um, the most sensible place where I like to put it is where other extensions are. And that is in, it's in usser lib php. Okay, and you can see there's an extensions folder that's already got some stuff in it. And you can see that I already have added Zen Debugger there. Now we just need to edit php.ini in order to um, tell Apache that that's there. And I use a text editor called Smoltron, and I already have my PHP INI. And you need to add these lines in here. And I've got this highlighted here. I'll try to copy it into the video. Uh, the Zend extension is the path to that zendebugger.so file. Uh, expose remotely always. I believe this allows you to debug remote servers, but uh, you may want to look that up to see what that means exactly. Um, the default connector port is 10,000. And then allowed host, you need to put in the IP addresses that are allowed to connect to the debugger. You can just copy and paste these and everything should work. Once you have that saved, you're going to need to restart Apache. I do it the easy way through system preferences, sharing, just uncheck web sharing, check it back, and then we're done. And now to give this a test to make sure that we've loaded, you can go to the command line and type php-m, which shows you the um, loaded modules. And we should see at the bottom here, Zen Debugger. So that tells us that everything is working with the um, Zen Debugger module. Okay, now that we have the Zend debugger installed, we need to configure Eclipse. The first thing that we need to do is install the Zend debugger feature. And install new software. We're going to select the site Zend. If you don't have this already, you can add it by clicking the Add button. And the URL is http uh, downloadszendcom pdt and inside there you will see the Zend debugger feature. Um, I'm not going to install this because I actually just installed it manually by copying the folders but uh, I found out later that you can do it this way which is a little easier. And once you've installed that you'll have to restart Eclipse and after you've restarted Eclipse you will have some uh, preferences to update. So under PHP preferences, the first one that you want to check is PHP executable. 
and you should have a default one in here and if there's none that are default I believe the debugger may add a bunch in here for you the one that I use is um, the OSX PHP install so I just gave it an arbitrary name um, you give it the path usr bin php and then you have to give it the path to your ini file which is private etsy php ini I leave this alone cli I don't know why um, it's not cgi but it's cli and then zen debugger and then uh, set default if it's not already and then under PHP servers, there should already be an entry there, but what it won't have is it won't have this local web root filled out. So um, you should have your server root, and then you need to point to um, the physical directory where uh, localhost root is. Uh, once you have done that, you should be ready to debug. And in order to debug, first have your PHP project in here and unlike other projects where you debug from the folder level so you would say debug um, you actually have to go into the PHP page that you're going to be debugging so index.php is the starting point of WordPress and what happens when I say debug as I get the option for PHP web page and as soon as I do that it immediately goes into a, a breakpoint that I didn't set. It just stops at the first line of code. I'm going to go ahead and just let it run. And what you have here is two windows. You have a browser window that allows you to go in and, and navigate to where you uh, need to go for debugging. And it opens up the page that's actually being debugged. Now, um, that's not really the way that I like to do uh, debugging. So I go into debug configurations. and it's created an automatic, I've got some other ones here already, but it's created one called index because that's what my file name was. I don't like that name either, so what I do is rename it WordPress because it seems to be project specific. It, um, it already figured out where the path to uh, this thing is, so this should all be filled out. I uncheck this break at first line because I don't like it just immediately going into debug mode. Um, I usually set a breakpoint where I want it to and apply that. And now, when we debug, uh, we don't get an we don't get a break unless we go in and set one. So, for example, set the break there, and it breaks. So that's all there is to it. Feel free to leave comments. Let me know what you think. Talk to you later.